Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is North Flair here with my first ever commentary. The map you're seeing right now is Berlin Wall. It's part of the First Strike map pack which released on February 1st for the Xbox the 1200 Microsoft points. For the PS3, I think you guys have to wait till March and it'll be around 15 bucks, somewhere around that price point. But in this video, uh, it's first game of the night actually for me. And... Um, I'm not playing as I usually do. Usually I'm an up close, up in the action, run gun type of guy. But in this one, I kind of I was in the background looking for stragglers. A lot of the game I had quite a few deaths. Uh, the end, the score ended up being like 38 and seven or something like that. The video was actually uh, like 16 or 17 minutes long. I really had to cut it down. So you see a lot of uh, a lot of fast forwarding, or if you're watching all news and plays so fast mode. Oh! But uh, don't want to steal his line. Yeah, in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is well, introducing myself. After that, I'm probably going to go into uh, talking a little bit about this map because it is one of my favorite maps. And uh, yeah, so let's get into that, right? So first off. I mean, I'm not UD, not new to YouTube. I've had a few uh, few channels in the past. My most successful is probably uh, PS3 support, which is now shut down thanks to uh, thanks to YouTube. It had, what, I don't know, like 6,000 subscribers. I had made a lot of PlayStation 3 like fix help YouTube videos. I don't know. That was, that was cool for a while. Uh, then I moved on to a, a YouTube channel called. Uh, what was it called? Games on Smash Tech. A tech section for a Games on Smash website. That was cool. Um, but, I mean, there were a lot more things that I wanted to post up on YouTube, so I didn't really want to put it on the website's YouTube account, so I made my own. And here you have it. It's Christopher Cabner. It's pretty much my name. YouTube is about me. Uh, you'll see commentary, you'll see gameplay, you'll see tech, you'll see video games. Pretty much whatever I'm interested in. Um, so yeah, my style of gameplay, I mean, usually I'm up close running gunner, I, uh, I very much like the M16, although lately I haven't been using it. The M16, usually with a reflex scope, pretty powerful, pretty accurate, that's why I like it, I'm, uh, I'm used to tapping the trigger, although in this video it doesn't seem like it, I hold it down a lot, I don't know why. Maybe it was because it was the first game, but who knows. Um, other than that, I love the Galil. Galil Silenced is awesome. The other guns are good. Commando. Pretty good guns. Uh, how about you guys? What do you play? Leave it in the comments. Uh, usually, like I said, I'm an up-close runner gunner. Oh, take a look at this clip right here. Hold on. I get a hit marker right there. I know someone's up on the top floor. And I know someone's in that bottom door. I like this map because I get to use a lot of the environment as cover. Take that guy out, look up, and the fool fucking jumps out of the window. Bad news, buddy. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm usually a, an up-close running gunner. I like SMGs. For a while, I mean, call me a noob or not, I like the uh, AK-74U. But, I mean, usually I like hitting people at medium distance, so the K74U is not good. Because uh, I like to sit, not really sit back, but I like to get them at a distance. I don't always like to be up close in the face, even though I say I'm an up close, in person kind of shooter. It really depends on the map. In this map, medium distance is what kills. Uh, actually, this map is good for a lot of things. See a snowman's land, jump over, get shot by those auto turrets, they can kill me there. Uh, this map's good for a lot of things, I mean, uh, it's a pretty large map, it's basically rectangular in shape, east first west, um, with three paths going across the middle. The middle is basically no man's land, if you try and cross uh, between those paths, you'll get gunned down by, or at least attempted to be gunned down by an auto turret. I don't know anyone that's actually made it across. I'm going to actually have to try that. <coughs> I've made it halfway across. Not all the way. But, um, 
yeah, pretty much rectangular in shape. East versus West. Uh, one side is pretty industrial, the other side has, you know, shops, homes, that type of thing. Like, playing on the side that I'm at now. If you look at the, if you look at the video, I'm guessing you guys are watching the video, but uh, I like this side of the map a lot more than the other side. Why? I don't know. I like the angles. Check out this right here. The guy has a camera spike there. Why would you put it there? Why not in the corner? So I know he's in this window. And the dumb tool is right there. So I'm gonna take a few of those guys out. And for some reason I fail at knifing this camera, which is pretty ridiculous. You'll notice in this video, I don't know if it's because, probably is because it was my first game tonight, I fail at some pretty basic things, like aiming <laughs> and knifing. But, um, yeah, this map is actually something else. I mean, I like it. It's probably my second favorite, first or second favorite of the map pack, I'm saying. Um, my first, my favorite, my all-time favorite map in this game is probably Firing Range. Then it would go to either this or Stadium, because I like Stadium as well. For those that don't know, um, the First Strike map pack has four competitive multiplayer maps. Berlin Wall is what you're seeing now. Discovery is pretty much um, a winter map. It's an abandoned World War II uh, research facility uh, with a, a big chasm in the front that cuts the map in half. Uh, there are basically four crossings, I believe two in the middle and one on each side. And, uh, yeah, the two in the middle, I believe, can, can break down. So if you, like, throw a C4 on it and see watch, and watch someone cross the overpass, you pretty much blow up that C4 and have them fall into death. Um, the problem I have with that map is I fall off into the chasm a lot, and that pisses me off and ends my kill streaks. Um, from Discovery, what else do we got? We have Kowloon, that's pretty much a rooftop map. Um, Kowloon is good. I like Kowloon in Search and Destroy. As for as for uh, Team Deathmatch, I don't know. I mean, it's it's hard. <laughs> I mean, you're running in you're running into a lot of people. It's it's great for those SMG users. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of close quarters. It's rooftops of China. I mean, imagine how tight that must be, right? There's, a, there's many ways across the map, uh, including zip lines. Now, whether or not you'd want to use those zip lines, I mean, yeah, you get from A to B fast, but you're pretty much exposed that whole time. So I don't know. I've, I don't use it, but I've seen some people do it in which I've killed them. But I don't know. It's got its pros and it's got its cons. And also, uh, the last map, the last map is Stadium, which is I'm not sure if it's my second or third favorite map in the whole game. It's awesome. It's got a lot of good lines. This game, actually, this map has a lot of good lines too. But um, it's good for some snipers. Good for SMG. It's good for assault rifles. Stadium, yeah, it's good. So it's that time again. The end of the video kind of snuck up on me. Uh, Ten minutes kind of went by quick. Remember to subscribe for more videos, and I hope you enjoyed.